this is the PlayStation 5. You know, every single day, I get up, I wake up, and I pray. I pray for an end to war. I pray for an end to violence. I pray for an end to crime. But the crime, the violence, and the war all exist within mankind and with this, within the sins that we commit. So that's what I do. I wake up every day and I pray. And I preach the gospel for those who will hear it, receive it, listen to it, and repent. Now the Bible says that people will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God in the last day. Or the last days. So many people, many men, just wake up. They don't pray every day. They play every day. The PlayStation 5. And their call of duty is not to God the world and the bible and to repent but their call of duty is to simulated games we're in those simulated games they're killing one another like call of duty which call of duty are you gonna serve the call of duty to god or the call of duty to mankind and the pleasures of sin this is what we have to ask ourselves. the bible says in matthew chapter 5 verse 44 that we should love our enemies and pray for those that persecute us certainly if the Jews had believed in the Messiah Jesus it might have been a different situation in regards to the reality that we see unfolding now with the war between Israel versus Hamas but people largely have ignored that Jesus people have chosen the Muslim Jesus that supposedly would destroy Christianity and is more of a tyrannical Jesus in support with militant Islam and jihadism. People don't mind the Christ mythicist Jesus, a Jesus that doesn't exist. People don't mind a universal Jesus, a Jesus that is just one of many so-called respected spiritual teachers but is not exclusive with truth. And people want to just do their own thing. So after a while, even God's mercy and grace will either expire or will eventually run aground with the sins of mankind, not listening to true Jesus. The Bible says we must work out our salvation with fear and trembling. That's for our own souls. It also says, what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world? And lose his soul. You see, the Bible is quite clear and plain in delivering a message that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart and our mind and soul first, and then to love our neighbours as ourselves. But really, the love that we have for one another in mankind is very superficial. And that's why we're in this problem that we're in now nowadays. And to be honest, I don't know where it's gonna go for humanity. But I do know that unless you've placed your faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour, you won't be able to effect much change and you've got a one-way ticket to hell. God loves you so much that he sent his son to die to be the sin bearer of your sins and so that you could help and influence others and pray for what is kind of happening all across the globe with sin, war, crime and all other manners of ills which affect human society god bless this is brother darren hebrews 9 verse 27 and john 3 verse 16 youtube ministry